the United States Navy Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor Program, more popularly known as Top Gun or Top Gun, teaches fighter and strike tactics and techniques to selected naval aviators and naval flight officers, who return to their operating units as surrogate instructors. It began as the United States Navy Fighter Weapons School, established on March 3, 1969, at the former Naval Air Station Miramar, north of San Diego, California. In 1996, the school was merged into the Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center at NAS Fallon, Nevada. History equals Genesis equals, in 1968. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Thomas Hinman Moore ordered Captain Frank Alt to research the failings of the U.S. air-to-air missiles used in combat in the skies over North Vietnam. Operation Rolling Thunder, which lasted from March 2, 1965 to November 1, 1968, ultimately saw almost 1,000 U.S. aircraft losses in about 1 million sorties. Rolling Thunder became the Rorschach test for the Navy and Air Force which drew nearly opposite conclusions. The USAF concluded that its air losses were primarily due to unobserved MiG attacks from the rear, and were therefore a technology problem. The service responded by upgrading its F-4 Phantom II fleet, installing an internal 20mm Vulcan cannon, developing improved airborne radar systems, and working to solve the targeting problems of the AIM-9 and AIM-7 air-to-air missiles. In May 1968, the Navy published the ALT report, which concluded that the problem stemmed from inadequate aircrew training and air combat maneuvering. This was welcomed by the F-8 Crusader community, who had been lobbying for an ACM training program ever since Rolling Thunder began. The ALT report recommended establishment of an advanced fighter weapons school to revive and disseminate community fighter expertise throughout the fleet. CNO Mora concurred equals fighter weapons school equals the United States Navy fighter weapons school was established on March 3, 1969 at NAS Miramar, California. The school was formed using many F8 pilots as instructors and placed under the control of the VF121 pacemakers and F4 Phantom equipped replacement air group unit. The new school received relatively scant funding and resources and built its syllabus from scratch. To support its operations, it borrowed aircraft from its parent unit and other Miramar-based units, such as Composite Squadron VC-7 and Fighter Squadron 126 VF-126. Its objective was to develop, refine and teach aerial dogfight tactics and techniques to selected fleet air crews, using the concept of dissimilar air combat training. DACT DACT uses stand in aircraft to realistically replicate expected enemy aircraft and is widely used in air arms the world over. At that time, the predominant enemy aircraft were the Russian built transonic MiG 17 Fresco and the supersonic MiG 21 Fishbed. Top Gun initially operated the A 4 Skyhawk and borrowed USAF T 38 Talons to simulate the flying characteristics of the MiG 17 and MiG 21, respectively. The school also made use of Marine Crude A6 intruders and USAF F-106 aircraft when available. Later, the T-38 was replaced by the F-5E and F-5F Tiger II. One British writer claimed that the early school was influenced by a group of a dozen flying instructors from the British Fleet Air Arm aboard HMS Ark Royal, who were graduates of the Royal Navy's Intense Air Warfare Instructors School in Lossiemouth, Scotland. However, an earlier incarnation of Top Gun, the U.S. Navy Fleet Air Gunnery Units, or FAGU, had provided air combat training for naval aviators from the early 1950s until 1960, when a doctrinal shift, brought on by advances in missile, radar and fire control technology, contributed to the belief that the era of the classic dogfight was over, leading to their disestablishment. The pilots who were part of the initial cadre of instructors at Top Gun had experience as students from FAGU. Air crews selected to attend the Top Gun course were chosen from frontline units. Upon graduating, these crews would return to their parent fleet units to relay what they had learned to their fellow squadron mates a Euro in essence becoming instructors themselves. During the halt in the bombing campaign against North Vietnam, Top Gun established itself as a center of excellence in fighter doctrine, 
tactics and training. By the time aerial activity over the north resumed, most Navy squadrons had a Top Gun graduate. According to the USN, the results were dramatic. The Navy killed a loss ratio against the North Vietnamese Air Force MiG soared from 3.71 to 13-1, while the Air Force, which had not implemented a similar training program, actually had its kill ratio worsen for a time after the resumption of bombing, according to Benjamin Lambert's The Transformation of American Air Power. The success of the U.S. Navy fighter crews vindicated the fledging DACT school's existence and led to Top Gun becoming a separate, fully funded command in itself, with its own permanently assigned aviation, staffing, and infrastructural assets. Successful Top Gun graduates who scored air-to-air -air kills over North Vietnam and returned to instruct included Muggs McCown and Jack Inge. The first U.S. aces of the Vietnam War, Randy Duke Cunningham and Willie Driscoll, received no official Top Gun training, but had, during F-4 training with VF-121, flown against Top Gun instructors. It was not until after the war in Vietnam ended that the Air Force initiated a robust DACT program with dedicated aggressor squadrons. The Air Force also initiated a program to replicate an air crew's first ten combat missions known as Red Flag, and the United States Air Force Weapons School also increased emphasis on DACT. The 1970s and 1980s brought the introduction of the F-14 Tomcat and the F-A-18 Hornet as the primary fleet fighter aircraft flown by students, while Top Gun instructors retained their A-4s and F-5s, but also added the F-16 Fighting Falcon to better simulate the threat presented by the Soviet Union's new fourth-generation MiG-29 Fulcrum and Su-27 flanker fighters. However, the specially built F 16A and developed cracks in the airframe and was retired. Largely due to the end of the Cold War in the 1990s, the Top Gun syllabus was modified to include more emphasis on the air to ground strike mission as a result of the expanding multi mission taskings of the F 14 and F A 18. In addition, Top Gun retired their A 4s and F 5s in favor of F 16s and F A 18s in the aggressor squadron equals transfer to NSAWC equals, in 1996, the transfer of NAS Miramar to the Marine Corps was coupled with the incorporation of Top Gun into the Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center at NAS Fallon, Nevada. In 2002, the Navy began to receive 14 F-16A and B models from the Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Center that were originally intended for Pakistan before being embargoed. These aircraft are operated by the Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center for Adversary Training and, like their F-16N predecessors, are painted in exotic schemes. Top Gun instructors currently fly the FBDF Hornet and Super Hornet as well as the undelivered Pakistani F-16 Ares per bite fighting Falcon. Course Top Gun conducts four power projection classes a year. Each class lasts nine weeks and consists of nine Navy and Marine Corps strike fighter aircraft to Euro a mix of single-seat F.A. 18 C.S. and is, and two-seat F.A. 18 D.S. and F.S. The Top Gun course is designed to train already experienced Navy and Marine Corps air crews at the graduate level in all aspects of strike fighter aircraft employment, which includes tactics, hardware, techniques and the current world threat for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The course includes 80 hours of lectures and 25 flights that pit students against Top Gun instructors. When a pilot or WSO completes the Top Gun course he she will return as a training officer carrying the latest tactical doctrine back to their operational squadron, or go directly to an FRS squadron to teach new air crews. SFTIs can also become instructors themselves at Top Gun later in their career. Each year, a small number of air crews do not meet Top Gun standards and are dropped from the course. Top Gun trains four to six air intercept controllers in each class on advanced command, control, and combat communication skills. They are completely integrated in the course and participate in most of the training missions. These AIC students, some of whom are E2C Hawkeye Naval Flight Officers, go back to their carrier air wings after graduation and are given the responsibility of training all the air controllers and fighters in their carrier strike groups in the art of air intercept control. Top Gun also conducts an adversary training course, 
flying with adversary air crew from each Navy and Marine Corps adversary squadron. These pilots receive individual instruction in threat simulation, effective threat presentation and adversary tactics. Top Gun provides academics and flight training to each carrier air wing during their integrated and advanced training phases at NAS Fallon which are large-scale exercises that can involve as many as 50 aircraft. These large-scale exercises serve as dress rehearsals for future combat scenarios. In addition to training crews, Top Gun also conducts ground school courses six times a year. The training officer ground school offers graduate level academics to fleet aviators, adversary instructors and other officers and enlisted personnel. Top Gun holds a strike fighter tactics refresher course once a year, usually in the fall, bringing current fleet SFTIs back to Fallon for a two-day refresher, updating Top Gun's recommendations. The Top Gun course has changed over time. In the 1970s, it was four weeks long. In the 1980s, five weeks. The final F-4 Phantoms went through the class in March 1985, and the final F-14 Tomcats in October 2003. Programs formerly run by Top Gun that have been transferred to other commands or discontinued include Fleet Air Superiority Training and Hornet Fleet Air Superiority Training, Coordinated Programs of Academics and Simulators, training fighter pilots and WSOs in maritime air superiority in the carrier group arena. Top Gun was made famous by the 1986 motion picture Top Gun, starring Tom Cruise. Similar schools, the Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center at NAS Fallon is the Navy Center of Excellence for Naval Strike and Air Warfare and is commanded by an admiral. Top Gun is a department under NSAWC, as are several other formerly independent weapons schools, the Carrier Airborne Early Warning Weapons School, JTAC, Strike U, Airborne Electronic Attack, and Maritime Weapons Schools. Additional schools reside at the master jet bases and designated as Type Wing Weapons Schools such as the Strike Fighter Weapons Schools at NAS Lemur and NAS Oceana. Instructors and curriculum at these schools support the locally based squadrons and conduct unit level training. NSAWC conducts training for individual aviators, as a Top Gun, as well as air wing level training. NSAWC provides standardization for the entire weapons school community and sets standards and criteria for individual qualification. Equals U.S. Air Force equals, since 1949, the United States Air Force has operated a similar training program at the United States Air Force Weapons School, and conducts large-scale tactical training exercises at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. Whereas the Navy's Top Gun program is nine weeks long, the U.S. Air Force Weapons School program is five and a half months long. The program includes nearly every type of aircraft in the Air Force inventory as well as courses focused on intelligence, command and control, Space and Cyber Operations. Equals U.S. Marine Corps equals, the Marine Corps operates Marine Aviation Weapons and Tactics Squadron a Euro 1 at Marine Corps Air Station Yuma with an adversary squadron, VMFT-401, co-located at the base. MAWTS provides training for qualification of individual weapons and tactics instructors that return to their squadrons as experts in employment of the aircraft and its weapons systems. MAWTS conducts large-scale exercises several times a year called WTI evolutions that are similar to Red Flag or NSAWC air wing training and involve all aircraft operated by the Marine Corps. Equals Argentina equals, the Argentine Air Force trains its fighter pilots in the CEPAC course given at the IV Air Brigade in the town of El Plumarillo located in the province of Mendoza. The officers that graduate from military aviation school receive advanced academic instruction and flight training in the AT-63 Pampa aircraft, and then join some of the operational squadrons of the Air Force. Equals Canada equals, 410 Squadron of the Royal Canadian Air Force conducts an annual fighter weapons instructor course at CFB Cold Lake in Alberta. The course is three months in length and is specific to the CF-18 Hornet aircraft. There are eight students per course. Equals Greece equals, the Hellenic Air Force built its own school in 1975. 
The school was called Tactical Weapons School and is based in Andravda Air Base. In 1983 Hellenic Air Force established the KEAT, which means in Greek, Air Tactic Center. Now the Tactical Weapons School is part of the KEAT and are both based in Andravda acting as an independent squadron of the Hellenic Air Force. Every year the best pilots from all the squadrons of the Hellenic Air Force are trained in KEAT. In modern air-to-air -air tactics, air-to-ground tactics, COMAO packages and electronic warfare. The pilots which graduating from the KEAT are the best pilots in the Hellenic Air Force. Equals Netherlands equals, the Royal Netherlands Air Force has a fighter weapons instructor training with 323 tactical training, evaluation and standardization squadron at Leeuwarden Air Base. This training is a multinational effort with Norway, Denmark, Belgium and Portugal. Equals Pakistan equals, the Pakistan Air Force initially provided similar training via the Fighter Leaders School but this was replaced by the dedicated Combat Commanders School at PAF Base Mushaf in 1976. The Combat Commanders School continues to fulfill its mission of training fighter pilots and air defense controllers. In order to keep pace with the ever-changing aerial threat and environment, CCS reviews its courses content continually. New study and flying phases involving EW and BVO threat have been added along with counterinsurgency tactics and others augmented to maintain pace with current air warfare trends. Equals Turkey equals, Turkish Air Force has a similar training program which is given in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground simulated warfare conditions based on highly developed ACMI system, named Anatolian Eagle. Each year several countries participate in operations, including Belgium, France, Germany, Israel, Italy, Jordan, Netherlands, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom and United States of America. Located in Kanaya III. Main Jet Base, the main missions of the program include, to systematically test and evaluate the fighters' combat readiness statuses and to manage the tactical training progress, to build a background and knowledge base in order to make research on tactical aeronautics, to make research to allow fighter elements of the Turkish Air Force Command to reach the military goals in the shortest time and with minimum resource and effort, to support the definition of operational requirements and supply and R&D activities, to allocate training environment in order to fulfill the requirements of the Turkish Air Force Command, to support the tests of existing future weapon aircraft systems. Equals United Kingdom equals, the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy also has a similar course specific to each aircraft type, known as the QWI course. It is five months in length. Equals Russia equals, the Russian Air Force also has its own speciality course in modern air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. Called the Fourth Center of Combat Application and Conversion of Frontline Aviation, it is based at Lipetsk Air Base and under the command of General Major Alexander Korkevsky. Lipetsk today has many of the old, current, and new Russian Air Force hardware, including the Sukhoi Su-34 and Yakovlev Yak-130. Once the T-50 Pak FA 5th generation fighter will come into service, the first 10 series production copies will be sent to Lipetsk for training of instructors. The new Sukhoi Su-35 will also be used for training for the new aircraft, as well as the T-50. Notes References Dave Parsons and Derek Nelson Bandits A Euro History of American Adversarial Aircraft, Motorbooks International Dean Garner Top Gun Miramar, Osprey Publishing, London, 160 pp ISBN 978-1-85532-246-2, George Hall. Top Gun A Euro The Navy's Fighter Weapons School, Presidio Press. Lou Drendel. And Kill Mix. Squadron Signal Publications, Michelle Three, Marshall L. Clashes. Air Combat Over North Vietnam 1965 A Euro 1972. Naval Institute Press, 1997, 2007. ISBN 1-59114-519-8. Robert K. Wilcox Scream of Eagles, Phuket Star ISBN 0-471-52641-X, NFWS and NSAWC, Top Gun.
a movie starring Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer, Dave Bio Berenek. Top Gun Days, Skyhorse Publishing. 1. ISBN 978-1-61608-005-1, Early Top Gun Days as a Student, PAF Saffron Bandit Annual War Games have begun. External links, Elder, Adam. Top Gun, 40 Years of Higher Learning. San Diego Magazine.